I sit back daily and watch the manosphere and hope and wish for solidarity. Why? Because if we as men keep giving in to the bad behaviors of women, nothing will ever change. These women have a community on TikTok, just like we have on YouTube, and you can go there and see exactly how they think about us. In the age where women monetize themselves, it's more than obvious. They only want you for resources, man. Why waste time with these serial daters? You're entertaining women with no return on investment. They don't care because we give them too many options to choose from. We live in a world where population is going to decrease and marriages will decline all while the rich will continue to get more wealthy off of more people in the job market and less families. This to me is the start of the ending. Let them continue running to the top tier men and getting ran through these women. But don't take them serious when they come your way. When I say I literally just got confirmation of this as well as they, I mean, they give us confirmation every day, but truly they want to be regarded and placed as kings and placed on this pedestal that they've not earned. I. You see these hypergamous women who all believe they're tens are better than men just for existing. They live in a twisted reality where they can take care of themselves, but want a man to spoil them too. It's all for their gang, men. And some of us refuse to see it. Literally today, I was getting dressed. This was about an hour ago. Getting dressed, getting ready to come over to Home Goods, you know, spend a few dollars, as we do, as the girls do on Saturdays. And I get a call from this guy. Now, mind you, earlier I had po reposted on my Instagram story a clip from the Steve Harvey and Shannon Sharp interview where Steve Harvey was talking about how men want the benefits of having a woman without the obligation. And I was just like, yeah, this is why I've been checked out of dating because all men want to provide is peen and a headache. And I'm not here for it. The super simp Steve Harvey told men Women shouldn't have to bring anything to the table. You see, the classism in the U.S. have people confused. How many men will become alpha males? How many men will become part of the top 10 or 5% of earners? Yes, strive to become better every day, but to tell working class men we're unworthy of women is crazy. And I do believe it takes a man and woman to bring a child into the world, not just women. It's not the era of the baby boomers. Women joined the workforce and because they did it, a crowding out effect happened. Men's wages have suffered because more women are laborers. Hence, most people who would want a family would need two incomes. So this guy calls me and he's all like, you know, asking me what I'm doing today. He's like, well, what is there to do in your area? I want to take you out. And I'm just like, you come here all the time to hang out with your friends. So you know what there is to do in the area that I live in. What you want me to do? Plan the date? He just keeps asking, like, well, what is there to do? What is it? Like, you know what there is to do. He's here. Like, when I tell y'all, he's here all the time. So I'm just sort of like silent at that point. So then he's like, well... I wanted to come out there and take you out, um, but I saw your Instagram post and I don't want to be a headache and blah, blah, blah. Like, first of all, if I answer the phone and entertain the idea of you taking me out, don't be annoying. So I hung up on him because I'm like, yeah, that was dumb. Stupid. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear that, that BS. You see, and she's rude about it when all he's asking is, what would you like to do? I mean, he didn't have to call you and ask you to do anything. And you take it upon yourself to say, well, I can have my choice of a man who's going to date me. So I don't care about disrespecting any of these men because I have too many options. This is the result of having too many options. I mean, who would want to deal with behavior that she's displaying? This is the bad behavior that I'm talking about. That why would you even dating should be obsolete just because of women like this, you know, and especially if you're not making the effort to initiate plans, call around, make a reservation. I don't know. But no, 
So I hung up the phone on him. He texted me like 10 minutes later and he's all like, did your phone die? And I was like, no, I hung up on you because I don't want to hear that nonsense. And he was like, LMAO, oh, wow. Well, I wanted to take you out, but if I blew you, I totally understand. And I was just like, I suggest you give me time and place if you want to take me out. And then he's like, well, no, never mind. I'm not coming now because I don't like how you banged the phone on me and didn't follow up. What am I supposed to do? Cry? Like, boohoo, whatever am I, whatever am I going to do now? <laughs> But they're used to women begging for that attention. They're used to women running down behind them. Like, I'm not going to say sorry because I'm not sorry. And you're not depriving me of anything. Because as previously stated, these were my plans for the day. So good luck to these men, truly. See, most women, all they have to do is show up. They'll say their hair, their nails, their makeup, their outfit. It's all equivalent to you making plans and uh making a reservation and all of that sort of thing when really you should be able to ask her input because if she don't want to go to a particular place then that's going to be an issue too you want an example of that you want an example of a woman complaining about you offering and she not liking where you want to go did i give you an example some people will tell you feminine energy is all like kisses and rainbows and trying to like look cute for people and being soft but it's actually also about like kind of being cutthroat and doing things in accordance to your own standards and not to other people's there was this guy i met him at the grocery store and he paid for my groceries and we were talking and it was very nice of him and he told me like oh he works in tech blah 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 he seemed like a cool guy so we exchanged numbers and so then he asked me if I wanted to go out we're supposed to go out today and so I'm like sure and he was like oh okay I you know want to go to this place you know and I was like oh like this is very abstract for me like this was a place that I would never go to and so I was just like oh you know what I don't think we like the same places but it's cool thanks anyway because it's like if this is where you want to go like we don't like the same places like that's fine maybe he just likes to go there like you know I didn't take it as like an insult or anything because he doesn't know me and I don't know him um and so then he was like no well where do you like and I was like oh the vibe that I like is more like this blah 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 he was like, okay, that's fine with me. So, you know, what place do you like? So I told him a few places of like, you know, restaurants. And then he was like, okay, well, can you make the reservation for seven? Now, mind you, I was out like with my friend. We were like shooting. I was busy. It's like, I don't have time to plan a date right now. Plus like, you know, you asked me out. So why would I be the one that's making, you know, the reservations and everything? So I just was like, oh, you know what? Actually, I'm not going to be able to make it. And the thing about it is like, you have to be okay with not seeing what's behind door number two. Like trusting your intuition means that you don't go on the date you don't be like and then he did this this that and you won't believe this and I knew it all along just don't go and it's okay like dates are like a lot of energy and effort I've been on so many dates I literally don't like care to go on one that I don't want to go on like I'm literally sitting here watching the Gilded Age and I ordered like Cinnabon DoorDash and I'm very much proud of my decision and some people will be listening like oh it's not that big a deal or what even happened like it's not for anybody else to decide um but me personally I feel like if it's that difficult or that hard for you it's like if you fumble a baddie on a simple task you you will fumble a bag and it's just very telling it it tells a lot like my imagination can do the work for me and so yeah at the end of the day it's just kind of like you don't have to waste your own time you don't have to get mad at people just take yourself out of the situation and that's really what standing in your power is that's the true femininity and that's really where you're going to be like proud of yourself who you are and your decisions i know i am i think it's a bad sign when a woman doesn't want to help you when you initially meet her when she show you that she's not willing to help um in any way or shape or form she's really not into you like that and she displayed that and also how hard is it to make a reservation i get it the man is supposed to leave and he's supposed to make the reservation and yes this is what the man is supposed to do 
but it's not a hard thing for a man or a woman to do and to make this into a big issue is some nonsense you can call and make a reservation how long is that gonna take five minutes you can do it online you on your phone all day and you can't make a reservation online on your phone i mean it could go both ways with the man and the woman but if he asks you know she could help it's gonna benefit her anyways because he's gonna pay for everything right but she don't want to go on a date now because he didn't want to make the reservation this is why dating should be obsolete i don't like to use the excuse oh sorry i have a boyfriend when i'm rejecting a man because i want them to know it's really important to me that boyfriend or no boyfriend i am rejecting you based on your own personal inferior merit and ugly face you know what i'm saying so i think it's really important as women that we make that decision uh collectively to specify that this rejection is coming from the heart i mean it then these women will wonder why men don't press up to them this is this is one of the reasons who wants to put up with this but on the flip side if we body shame them and call them or you know fat and overweight overweight is a soft way of saying fat right we'll be shamed for that I'm like but you can sit up here and want to disrespect the man for approaching you i mean he's giving you validation and then you want to diss him for that I mean, it, it, these women are truly cutthroat so don't wonder why men don't want to press up when they see you in the street stop wasting time on these women at least in this form in fashion i see why coach greg adams would rather pay a 304 or why passport bros are leaving stop dating these women in this archaic way of meeting because it don't benefit you i remember hearing it's all a numbers game and all that game is it's trash right now fall back man work on yourself pay a 304 if you get the urge and keep it moving don't engage with these resource vampires